Hello there, welcome to another video. In this opportunity, we are going to continue talking about some tips on how to draw a bicycle wheel in perspective. And as I said on a previous video, I simplified the process of drawing wheels with four lines, which is two lines for the tire, making sure that it's thicker at the front, one line for the rim going around the whole wheel, and one line for the inner part of the rim at the back. However, this configuration doesn't always work out, especially when we are looking at the wheel where not only you can see the tread of the tire, but also we can see the side wall of the tire. Like in this image where the side wall of the tire is clearly visible at the back. So, how can we tackle this configuration? In this case, we can start off with one ellipse for the center of our wheel. From there, we can draw a curved line that represents the rim at the back. Notice how this line doesn't go all the way around the wheel. It is just seen at the back. Then we add up another ellipse that goes around the first one, making sure that it's thicker at the side closer to the viewer. And the final touch we cannot forget is adding two curved lines coming out of our ellipse at the center to show the transition from the tread to the side wall of the tire. So let's recap. How would I go about drawing this wheel from reference? First, let's take a look at the reference image. What I would do first is find the two points where the ellipse stops. Then, imagine a straight line going through those two points and draw it as a reference for your image. Then draw your ellipse following that reference. Once we have our ellipse, then we can proceed to adding the elements accordingly. One curve for the rim, another ellipse for the tire, and two curves to show the transition from the tread to the sidewall of the tire. Later on, I place the drawing on top of the reference picture and realize my wheel was much more inclined to the right. This mistake occurred because the reference line that I drew was not completely accurate and there is a very simple way to prove it. If we draw a straight line going through the axle of the wheel, the angle between those two lines has to be perpendicular, meaning 90 degree angle, in order for it to be a perfect circle in perspective. But the straight line that I drew is not a 90 degree angle. As you can see here, the correct line is the white line. Having now a correct line of reference, we can proceed to draw our wheel. Drawing these two lines and making sure they are perpendicular to each other can help you make sure you're drawing the wheel in the right angle. That's all for this video. As always, please let me know if you have a better way of drawing wheels and if you like this type of content, you can support this channel by subscribing and giving thumbs up. See you on another video.